Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty, a true dad. Welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Well, last time, oh, tale as old as time, it turns out, yes, the dangerous plot environment that's full of enemies, uh, because I knew they were there and because I could plan for it, that actually went pretty smoothly, but, uh, walking down the completely safe road uh, that I've walked down ten times before, yeah, obviously, I got shot by the king of the roaches. Marvellous, just flipping marvellous. And today, we've got ourselves some plot to do, but unfortunately, though the game now basically says, Hey, you know what? Get yourself into the Institute. No, we can't do that yet. We've got to go and catch up with a couple of people, because uh, bear in mind, this is the point of the plot I'm supposed to be meeting the railroad uh, for the first time. I just kind of got ahead of myself a little bit. So, uh, yes, now we've got to go around the houses, back to the railroad, uh, and back to Virgil. Which means, of course, because this is survival mode, uh, I need to go back into the glowing sea. I can't just fast travel to his cave. On the way, though, there's a whole bunch of stuff I wouldn't mind picking up, clearing out, diddly diddly deeing. So, okay, first things first, however. Right now, I'm wearing my assassin's armor. Don't want that. Want my cunning gear back, please. Oh, yeah, that's more flipping like it. And uh, I'm also, yes, indeed, a little bit on the uh, overtired side right now. But. There's one thing I want to do while my adrenaline is maxed out, because at this point, I'm actually in a pretty good place. With a whole bunch of shadow gear, a chameleon piece of legendary gear, nine ranks of covert ops, and yes, agility at I think 13 at the moment, I'm pretty good in terms of stealth. So the next big thing I need to try and max out is damage output in terms of, yes, McCrets. So for that, I'm going to be needing a whole bunch of magazines. So, Tesla signs and guns and bullets. Though, for the time being, guns and bullets is the priority because both of my day-to-day -day weapons are ballistic, not energy. So, there is one very nearby, but I've been kind of avoiding doing this for a while. But, with maxed out adrenaline, it's the best bet I've got. So, before anything else, today we're kicking off going over the river because... Uh, Yes, the Fraternal Outpost 115 is right up here, halfway to the Cambridge Police Station. It is small, it is tight, it is dark, and there are a lot of flipping super mutants inside a relatively small area. But, there's also a copy of Guns and Bullets. I fully accept I might be about to take a small amount of damage. It is a very real risk of going into the outpost at all. However, I consider that an acceptable cost for being able to boost the amount of damage I can do with my crits going forward. Because one day, I'm going to come across, you know, big enough stuff that it could kill me in one hit if it gets on top of me. Being able to kill it in one hit by absolutely maxing out the amount my crits can do, that's worth it. That there, that's a good trade. Oh, speak of the devil. Hang on, we got... We got company. Okay. We get ourselves a Suicider and a Legendary Skirmisher. Hang on, I just want to be close by to... Where's, where's cover? Here's some cover. Okay. Suicider and yes, it's always... I think it's always this arm, right? Screw it, go! Let's just make him go pop and... Okay, it wasn't that arm. It was, it was a different arm. That's... Mildly unfortunate. Um, because that was that was Cret. I always forget which arm it is. And now he's Okay, this is this is there he is. Okay, now he's coming, now he's coming. Okay, so basically, yes, this is all Cret. Take him out. And if we're lucky, there we go. With a sneak attack, we're golden. And Idiosavon. So okay, that's you know, I was literally about to say, well, I've got plenty of crits going into the super mutant area, so we're fine. But no, um, now, now we don't. But, cross your fingers. All right, so RNG gods, junkie. That's unfortunate. I mean, yeah, I literally can't pick up withdrawal at this point, which is a bit of a shame because there is a tactic that says uh, hope for junkie to show up and then like you know use that to get deliberately addicted to everything and then just do ridiculous damage uh, using that but the problem is yeah the actual uh you know withdrawal 
that really knackers your special. So I don't think it's worthwhile. So no, we'll be leaving that. That's not worth that. Right, just double check around. Should be golden. Okay. Fraternal Post 115. We're actually, um, if you're playing as the male character, this is where you're going to be giving your speech that you're practicing in the mirror at the beginning of the game, which is very, very cool indeed. All I need to do really is get in, get the magazine, get out again. We do not need to clear this place, especially if, yes, legendaries, masters, or both start showing up. And just be ready. Because there's seriously a lot of them in here, potentially, and... Okay, if I can take out a few before they even realise. The advantage is, yes, yeah, super mutants bark a lot. They say things, which gives me uh, subtitles, it gives me locations, I can listen uh, and try and figure out what's going on next. So, as soon as stuff starts happening... I should have a rough idea what I'm dealing with. Okay. So... In fact, I'm kind of surprised they haven't so far. Where are the... Where are the barks? I would have expected to have had a bark and I might be able to spy them... No, seriously, where are the... There's one. Yeah, that's Deadeye. He's the, uh... He's the named guy. But... We're in a fairly low-level area right now. Which might mean... We're in good shape. That if we're very, very lucky indeed, these guys might have their own level capped. To... I think in this part of boss, it's like capped to level 14. So it might be... Relatively manageable stuff, just a fair bit of it. And also, I wouldn't mind sniping him through here. And if I could just... Oh, if I could just get a shot at his... I mean, if I can hit him... I mean, this is silenced. I'll give it a go and no. Though a miss shot does... I mean, I am actually... Yes, the thing is, if you've got a silenced weapon... Even if you miss, it does boost your armor, your crit meter. So, I could just... You know what, I've already got one crit back. Crit to actually get the hit. Okay, now he's down. That was 300 XP right there. And no one else seems to actually care. Which I'm kind of surprised by. Am I confusing this place with somewhere else? I thought this was one of those... Uh, there are many, many enemies places, but like, this seems suspiciously, suspiciously empty. Where's, where is everyone? Why aren't they talking to each other? I don't like this. I don't like this one little bit. I'm not going up and around. If I can go the direct route, just literally get in, grab the thing and then get out, I'm golden. Okay, door opens. Prepare for trouble. Mines. No, seriously, where are the rest of them? I mean, I know there's going to be people on the floor above. I can't take these mines to, yeah, detonation. Can't do it. I know we're safe here. Take that, sell, move. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I was... That's a radio. I don't like the music. I mean, I'm feeling just go, get the magazine, and walk straight back out again. Which I'm suspicious about conceptually because that wasn't the plan. Okay. It's just that. I don't hear footsteps either. I hear no footsteps. He's not. What was that? Okay. Um, have I just triggered a trap? 
I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. 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 Ah, fuck! Okay, yes, it was a trap, and I completely forgot it was a trap. Um, crap. Go out. I forgot it was trap. Go run, run, run. I'm into the. I'm into the run. I'm into the run. I'm into the. I'm into the very. Okay, I've been. I've been a little bit shot here. Please hit him. Go and then straight back out and go, go, go. Seriously, I forgot that was an ambush. That was a light tap. They were low-level super mutants. They might follow me outside. There might be. There might be more. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, forgot that was an ambush. And do we still have trouble? Yes, we do. One follows you outside. Sometimes they do that. Down you go. And oh, um. Okay, this is this is more of a problem. Uh, actually, uh, that's that's three of them. Okay, staggering combat rifle. And, uh, Psychojet. We're gonna go for, uh, Psychojet at this point. So one dose of Psychojet, I know I'm thirsty, and then I'm just gonna go, 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 And are we good? That there. That's the power of your Psychojet. Now it's gonna roll for disease in a second, because it always does. Are we good? We're fine. And the legendary? There was... I just saw legendary, right? Crippling bloody hell. It's crippling again. Uh, and it's uh it's a missile launch. Fact, hang on, haven't I haven't I No, I saw kneecap a missile launcher previously. Uh no, that's that's not gonna fly. Unfortunately. Okay, that was uh, at some point my brain's gonna process what just happened there, but that that could have been could have been much worse. Actually, how much damage did I just take, by the way? Okay, bit of a tap. Worst tap we've had in a while, actually. But not the end of the world. I think, yeah, I spent a long time doing pretty well. I was on, like, um, yeah, 87. Lost hit points for a while. I think I lost another, what was it, 6 last week? Which was up to, yeah, 93. Now we're up to, uh, what is that? Uh, 100 and, uh, 114 or something? Yeah, okay. So we took we took a bit of a knock, but it could have been much worse. I'm glad for once I remembered drugs existed, because that there that could have that could have gone a lot worse, yes. And on top of that, no illness has shown up since, so I think we're okay. If there was gonna be an illness, it would have happened by now. So alright, got lucky there. I think we're we're fine. Alright, so that is that's not the most dangerous thing I'm planning to do today, by the way. That was that was just, you know, a, a little nip in, grab something, nip out. And that'll also teach me for diverting somewhere without bothering to check my notes. Because I just thought that was a number of super mutants. I did not realise that they didn't show up until until the end. So that, that was good. Okay, on the plus side, I've got a moment which is going to be a bit more chill now. Because I've got to grab... What, 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 what? Okay, or, or we can just have more super mutants. Alright, we can just have super mutants everywhere. Why not? Let's just have super mutants literally bloody all over the shop. Yeah, again, I'm not gonna sleep right now. I'm gonna hold my adrenaline just for the minute because, uh, yeah, there's, well, there's a good time for me to sleep shortly. For the time being, I may as well hold the adrenaline. I don't need to sleep right this second. I'm okay for now. So uh, my next priority is uh, head round uh, to the railroad. But there's two places uh, I want to stop in on along the way. And we've got ourselves uh, a raid of scum who seems a little active today for some reason. How about we just take you down and then just move straight on actually because why not? That might be the same raid of scum I upset to the, uh, yeah, the end of last part. When I just, uh, took out his friend on the watchtower. Over here, I'm not sure, actually. It could be. So, yes, indeed. Today, uh, we're going straight back into, uh, to Green Tech Genetics. Because, uh, I got a bit, you know, distracted and excited by dealing with, uh, all of the gunners. So, I kind of forgot one of the crucial bits of loot that was in the building. Oh, and speak of the devil, we've also got a Raider Scum. Right over there. Take you down nice and fast. I'm kind of wasting ammo, actually. My 50 caliber's getting a bit low, but I can never say no to free XP, damn it. Oh, hello. 
I thought I just saw the... There might be a turret still alive in here. Okay. Um, potentially, somebody's... Somebody's not dead. I'm not sure how I'd have missed anyone. I thought all the turrets were accounted for and dead, but... That was just me walking over a physics object. It's fine. Okay. Stay maybe a, a tiny, tiny bit alert here. Because something's going on. And is that why I walk my way? Yes, there we go. So, surgical journal. 2% limb damage. Uh, very important because you know what? Sometimes uh, certain creatures, ghouls in particular, destroy their limbs. Uh, that's it. They're done. That's the hard counter. So, uh, now we've got that. Take it straight back out again. Alright, no trouble whatsoever. Whatever's still somehow alive upstairs, I do not care. I'm not getting involved. Ooh, blimey. Okay. Uh, apparently, uh, Fog has, uh, yes, suddenly arrived uh, very, very fast indeed. Now, my next destination is just around the corner because I'm like 80% sure I forgot to pick up the guns and bullets in Ticonderoga when I was passing through it the last time. And it's just around the corner, but this is kind of raider territory. And the fact I now can't see doesn't help, actually. Um, okay. Probably the best thing I can do at this point is pop a little marker down. Just so, yeah, I've actually got a definite location for that thing. But you can see it's just around the corner. It's like a street and a half over. If I could get there without running into raider difficulties. Okay, so just... Again, I'm not seeing many raiders. Bit odd there's a raider camp here. With no... raiders in it. And no sign of raiders. I haven't taken this place out, have I? Well, there's a raider. I see you, buddy. Sort of. I mean, I've got a silenced weapon. Honestly, and... Let's... Let's not ask questions as to what this raid is doing. You know, what they do in the privacy of their own raider camp, it's, it's up to them. It's fine. Well, no one seems particularly... Oh, oh. Where are you? Okay. I've decided I'm not going to go straight through their base. I'm going to cut round the, the front. There's some shallow water here. But that should be... How many crits do I have, by the way? I've got one. Precisely one. Yeah, this here. This is the better option. Aside from the fact I can't see. I literally can't see where I'm going. But it does mean... I can just... No, that was me stepping in the water. It does also mean... Hang on. What's this terminal for? Precisely turrets, which I may have already destroyed because I'm not getting the option to uh, yeah, take them over. But I'd rather have them destroyed than not. Okay, well there's a corpse here. That's just... No, you just turn them off, John. You're fine. So, that's just a cellar. Okay. Ignore that. I just need to bloody raider encampments. I mean, is there a safer way to go around the outskirts over here. I just want to get round the edge of this. That wasn't me. Just a bit of debris. Sometimes there's tyres and they go sploosh and it's terrifying, but it's fine. Around the outskirts. Are we past the raid territory? I think we are. Sometimes dogs can spawn in Ticonderoga's lobby. But it looks okay. I think we're fine. Okay. Now, I'm also going to feel very embarrassed if it turns out I already got the magazine. But, like, I'm pretty sure I didn't. No, I'm completely wrong. It should be right here, meaning I've already got it. And I should have already known that. Because it would actually be fairly easy for me to check. You know, bloody how, John? Because the game tells you how many you've still got to get. You know there's only three missing, and you know where those three are. You've not been to bad TFL, the other two are in gunner bases. So, 
You could have worked out by elimination, it wasn't in Ticonderoga. Bloody hell. Okay, back outside, mist has gone away. All I need to do now is skirt around the outskirts and just cross over the river when I hit the next bridge. I'm just psycho, that's... Do you have any friends? I don't see any. Seems to be fine. Yeah, just skirt around the outskirts of the water here. When we get close by to Bunker Hill, which is only just around the corner, there's going to be... I don't have a look at that uh, super mutant thing, though. Okay. A couple of gore bags hung up. This isn't the... No, that's not the bridge I want. Can't go up this bridge that way. Yes, there is. A, there's the super mutant. Uh, yeah, the building site. Right there. But... Don't need to worry about that. I see nothing of interest. Just skirt around the outside. There's sometimes a mile or two here, but I'm pretty sure it's already been taken out, so it's fine. Next bridge, right there. We just take that. No trouble whatsoever. I don't want to go to Bunker Hill, because that's too close by to the start of Automaton, and I do not want Automaton triggering. Not until I'm ready to do it immediately. Automaton is too dangerous to activate. The roving bands of kill squads, uh, yeah, not fun. Alright, all peaceful, so yeah, use this bridge, nice, safe, easy bridge. Uh, then, we just go in the back entrance over there, should be... Uh, I say should be. Those brackets are looking awful close. What am I missing? Okay. Whatever it is, I ain't seeing it. Don't like brackets moving when I can't see what it is. But this is easy. I don't need to go to the front door or anything. Check for raiders. Yeah, this is the place I bloody lost a whole bunch of tiny bits of health. Because I panicked. Mitty, I just panicked with the super mutants and that worked out. <laughs> that just about worked. Uh, I'm a lot stronger these days, so I can just about get away with that. So just hoppity hop over to here and jump into the back entrance. Say hello to Tinker Tom. He can, yes, get the data out of the McJibble that I pulled out of the thingy's head. And then, yes, uh... The game wants me to go straight back to Virgil. Which is a lot easier if you're not bloody playing survival mode. Oh, the bed's just turned red. I'm too, yes, severely tired and... Oh, what do you hey, bloody want you. now? She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Okay, so Garrus does need to go visit the robot. That's fine, Garrus. I'll go visit Edie later, though to be honest, I'm not going to because please step out of the way. Thank you. Right, I'm getting really tired at this point. So, now speak to uh, Desdemona. She'll take me to Tinker Tom. This is nice and simple. No choices, no dialogue that means anything. Nice and easy. Okay, got the code. Just need to take that back to Virgil and spoke to Pam as well. She wants me to go to, uh, yes, Medford on this occasion. So may or may not bother doing that. We'll see down the line. And on the way out, Tom will trade a giant pile of stim packs, which I got off the gunners last week for, yeah, some good ammo. All right, straight back outside. Weather looks nice. At this point, we should just be walking straight back to base. But uh, I'm just going to stay crouching, keeping an eye after bloody last week and the king of the cocking roaches, uh, I'm not taking anything for granted. Oh. Speak of the devil. I can hear very soft, distant gunfire. Just for a second. It's too far away for me to place it. Keep your ears open. To the left. Okay, it's towards the centre of Boston. It's presumably the random event that spawns close by to mass fusion. Whatever it is. Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit close to it. Where are you, buddy? Raiders running into something. I don't know what it is, and I don't need to know 
We're fine. Just keep an eye on the side. No, that's just one of the missionaries. That's fine. That's not a problem. They detect you. They won't attack until, you know, you cause trouble for them, which I am not going to be doing. We are fine and... Ah! Might have just been some brotherhood. Could have just been some brotherhood, lads. Love it. Just check that's actually... That looks like a brotherhood, lad. That's no problem at all. Though, to be honest, you know, the trouble they're about to make, I don't really want to get involved in it, if at all possible. So, just just stay away. Please stay away. Because vertebrates, yes, share certain similarities to dragons in Skyrim, which is they'll occasionally try and, you know, crash in vaguely your direction. It is not just a coincidence, they sometimes kill you. They're kind of meaning to. Whether they ever meant for that to be the case or not, I'm not sure. I always assume dragons, are, like, you know, deliberately crash towards you so you could get their dragon souls nice and easily. But, like, you know, unlike dragons, these things explode and kill you, which is bad. And, of course, because why wouldn't it be the case? Our friend is... Actually, hang on. Yes, our friend is back. I was suspicious there for a second. I was wondering where he got himself to. Uh, okay. Ready to scava. Take you out. And then just take you out too. Lovely. Caution. And do I want to take a shot? 50-50? Oh, go on. And we got him. Lovely. Bit of a lucky one there. And with, uh, yeah, luck of nine... Uh, we're good in terms of crits. So actually, um, 8 and 9 make no difference. It's 10. 10's the next big number. If I can get my luck to 10, then yeah, I get a crit in one less shot with your average uh, unadjusted weapon. Okay, back at base. Junk dropped off. And yes, it's time for me to have a nap. Because uh, once you get up to the game saying, hey, your condition's in the red. Yeah, it's not kidding. I'm losing uh, a lot of strength, agility, luck, my AP refresh speed in general bad times. So, uh, as much as I'd love to just crack on, time to reset the old adrenaline. So, seven hours is what I should need, uh, and that'll bring me to uh, middle of the night. Honestly, not a bad situation, but again, everybody just uh, cross your fingers to the old RNG gods there, and... Okay, hours ticking by a bit on the, the slow side, which worries me. There you go! I'm not sure why you were taking so long. And... Once again, I was just uh, showing with that guy. Okay, tiny bit hungry, well rested, uh, no disease. Good, 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 good. So, we need to head back down south again to get back to the glowing sea. But, there is one thing I could do en route. Another useful magazine that could also be a nice useful way of uh, warming up, shall we say. Getting the old adrenaline pumping once again. Though... Okay, basically, what I just did earlier that cost me some health, I'm about to do the same thing again. But this time, I think it shouldn't be so dangerous. And I really do mean I'm retracing my steps precisely here, because only just up the road uh, from the Fraternal Outpost, we have got Cambridge Polymer Labs. Now, if I go in and take care of that, well, there's two options. But there is a magazine I wouldn't mind grabbing on my way past. Here we go. No sign of trouble. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Lovely. Now, uh, there's two ways I could do this. We'll see how brave I'm feeling once I'm inside. So that over there, that's Molly. She's lovely. She wants to give me a job. I could kill Molly now and get a key card that just unlocks the entire facility, but that kind of makes turrets wake up and turrets are dangerous. Or I play along, take the job, and as a result, I have to take on ghouls. I think taking out ghouls is uh, the better bet because seriously... Uh, Turrets ain't kidding about. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention, and welcome to the team. Okay, Molly says this, but yes, the um, rest of the team is ghouls, and the clean room is going to irradiate me because everything in this place is a nightmare. So what we're going to do instead is uh, I'm going over to hazmat suit, and there's a lot of radiation floating around in this area, so... Uh, the plan is basically just hazmat suit. I'm going to stay in hazmat suit because I should be able to clear out the ghouls with the staggering without too much trouble. So hazmat suit on. That's better. Now I can bloody see what I'm doing as well. And yes, we'll go over to staggering. And we don't want to stay in this room. We want to get in and out as fast as possible. And yes, that there, that is not a real clean room. It's going to just start... Uh, dealing with me by irradiating me more. 
actually. So all we need to do is uh, watch out for ghouls. By solving this little puzzle over here, need to plug in a couple of different, you know, bits and pieces into that machine in order to make a special bit of power armor, which is actually a very rare example of um, legendary power armor, effectively. So, okay. All we need to watch out for is one, we need the radioactive isotope. And two, you need two of a bunch of samples uh, which are just sitting around. Now, all you need to watch out for is the ones that have got one one at the end of their name. It's the two that have got double or triple ones at the end. Not the beginning, the end. So as long as you pick up them, you're golden. And I might be able to actually get a handful of these guys uh, straight away. So, wait. Yeah, I see a feral. Any chance I can see more than one? I've only got one for now. And now I wouldn't mind closing, closing, closing door, please. Close the door. Okay, just have a bit of a, a bit of a background. And yes, I can actually see, I can see and I can VAT scan through windows. So now I've kind of woken up a few of them. There's one. You're a machine gun turret. I'm not sure if I was to wake up the turrets whether they take out the ghouls or not. I'm actually not sure about that. It looks like only one is active. I'm also not sure if you can, uh, yeah, use crits to shoot through windows you wouldn't otherwise be able to shoot through. I assume so. Because a crit always lands. So, okay. That's you. Okay. Never mind. The, um, the turret seems to be... I wasn't aware the turret was going to be awake. Is that going to wake up any of your friends? It doesn't seem to have, and uh, we'll just take you out nice and quiet as well. And should I still be in the hazmat suit? I mean, we're quiet for now. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go back into armor for the minute, but I'll need the hazmat suit again later to go into the, uh, yes, the radiation room to get the radioactive isotope, which you need to complete the mission. Okay, back to how we should be, but now I don't have rad protection. I think the machine gun turret is fine, though. Now, the other ghouls. That's just a crackly wire. That's fine. That's not a problem. There are more ghouls, like several more ghouls. Just be ready. Hang on, this is the... Okay, that's the... Yes, John, that'll be where the radiation is, because there's clear watch out radiation signs. So, for the time being, me and the turret are going to be friends, right? Yeah, me and the turret are friends. That's all right. That's a okay. I can. Yeah, just shoot you through the window. That's fine. There was a dramatic, a dramatic noise there, but it was it was okay. It was okay. That was that was no trouble. No trouble at all. Can I hear one of them walking up ahead? Yeah, be aware, ghouls can drop through ceiling holes. Uh but this should be a-okay. And there we go. That one ends in 1-1. Therefore, we know it's one of the ones we need. And there's a hazmat suit here, which is very, very useful too. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Keep on keeping on. Because I also can't remember where the magazine is. Alright, it's... It's somewhere. It's somewhere around here. I can't bloody remember where. And... Just watch out for... Trouble. And also, watch out for holes in the bloody ceiling. Because, you know... Oh! Hello over there, buddy. You're going to... I'm going to hit the railing, aren't I? No, I didn't hit the railing! That's nice! Okay, there's another one. I see you over there, Mr. Roma. And thank you for walking into a better position, actually. That's five dead. This is good. This should be some adrenaline right now. And was that your corpse? Flinning? Was that... I think we're fine. I don't think it's this one though. I think the other one's going to be the other one's going to be upstairs, right? And yep, yeah, that's four one three. That's not what we want. Okay, just keep on keeping on. Terminals are good. Terminals let me do my job very effectively. Sixty five. That's not the one either. And isotope containment. Good. So I think we need to 
Maybe we need to open that one before we can go into that room, which we do need to go into Ultimate Lane. Yep, just a security door control, nice and simple. Probably there's a lockpick on the door, but I can't remember. Okay, that also caused a bit of a fight. I slightly... Oh, 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 okay, there's rats if you just get too close to the bloody window. This is why I thought you were supposed to just wear the hazmat suit all the time. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. Also, okay, there is a glowing one. Yes, so I can see him through the window, but it's all zeros. So be aware, there is a glowing one, but a crit in the head will deal, uh, deal with him. No trouble. So that there, that's fine. Maybe shouldn't have done this until I was ready to go into that room, because now I'm going to be scared of that glowing one this whole time. So that is, uh, that's fine. Everything's under control. Took the tiniest, tiniest dose of rads, not an issue. Looks peaceful to me. Okay, so that's, no, that's fine. That there, that's just the old, uh, just the old terminal. And that's just more alerts, which are not a problem. Feral ghoul over there. Anyone else, by the way? You're not, you're not about to wake up, no. Okay, you're about to wake up, but it's not a great that shot, so I'll just take that. Okay, the briefest moment of danger, but we're fine. Stay away from the windows. Uh, they apparently are not, uh, you know, completely resistant to everything. So we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well on the old... Uh, everything front right now and also stay away from anything producing air because i don't trust any of bloody that either okay i'm pretty sure this is i think either you climb around up the top or you can hack that terminal i should be able to hack that terminal or there's nope but rads 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 why are the why are the rads why were there rads there i can't remember why there's rads there also now i'm in caution why am i in caution I don't like the amount of... Hello over there! Right, because of you! Got it. Just gonna snipe your arm off, actually. Not sure where you came from, by the way. And also, hang on, was that... Okay, I have no idea where all of you are coming from. But I'm not gonna say no, because I'm in a pretty good position. Now you in the back. Back to hitting. Good. How about this? Can we hack this? Yes, expert. I'm golden on expert. We're fine. Okay, door open. Watch out for... Security Majible. Just take that off. Though, actually, I physically can't. Uh... Hello there, Mr. Roma. Yes, I see you waking up. But by the time you're up, you're going to be very dead. So you're all fine. Are we golden? Yep. Happens up to Cryo Mine. Useful. Slows enemies down. And also, I'll be having all of that. Just double check. Yeah, if you can't do that, you can just uh, climb in from above. Uh, now, I'm imagining that... Hang on. Didn't I see... I saw something in here, right? Like this is the this is the right place. Yes, it's hidden behind here, and there it is. Ends in one one. So that's two. Other than that, all I need is oh bloody hell, where's the oh where's the cocking magazine? There's definitely a magazine in here somewhere, and also just in case you need it later, Bergman's terminal. Uh, yes, this is part of the railroad's quest. I'm unlikely to need it. But I may as well just check the... Hang on. Password. Deleted mail. Where is the flipping password? You've got a password somewhere. Oh, I think I just accidentally let myself out of the building by overriding the password, by the way. I didn't... I didn't mean to, but... Okay, there's a password. So, okay, well, I've got... None of this is what I wanted. All I want is a magazine, damn it. I just can't remember where the magazine is. Uh-oh. Um, the machine gun turret is now marked as... As red. Not. I'm a little concerned I may have just accidentally turned on security and I didn't actually mean to. Um, okay, I'm going to take out the security. Because I don't... I don't like being in a world where... Actually, the security is red, not green. That that just unnerves me. So we're just going to very quickly try and take all of you out, actually. Good, that's, that's that done. Okay, so basically, when I said you've got to choose between ghouls and security, I accidentally just pushed too many buttons too fast, and now I've got to deal with both, which is, you know, obviously great. And there's also bloody rads everywhere. Okay, this is everything's under control. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. 
is this the nah with the thing by the way i see you buddy that's that's all fine shoot you in the leg please uh, take you out this is a lot of corpses uh, which is good that is good news anything else Are we good we all under control potentially that is uh, that's just another sample we do not need that guy drank rat poison to avoid turning into a zombie which is certainly an option um okay seriously i can't remember where the bloody my oh hi over there buddy luckily this was not you know anything too dangerous he was just a basic caution and i see you too okay that's that's fine everything's under control couple of free bottle caps and everything everybody loves free bottle caps where's the cocky magazine Oh, bloody hell, I know precisely where it is. The whole point is it's in the director's office up there, meaning you've got to complete the quest before you... Well done, John. Well bloody done. Okay, just focus on completing the quest here. So, hazmat suit on because we have got one glowing one. Last enemy. All right, just... Where are you, buddy? Where are you? Just don't let him get a swing in. And he's right there. Okay, just wait for the headshot, then go for him. Okay, just... Go, he's right... Ooh, he's right there. Go! Okay, uh, take the crap. Don't want to take the risk here. Now, I think there might be some more that wake up in here. Just a handful, so I'm going to go over to staggering. Alright, just... Yep, yeah, there's rads, and... As soon as we step in here, I'm pretty sure there's going to be... There's going to be friends, right? You didn't have the... I thought you had friends. Nuclear material. I shan't say no to that. Okay, this is this is fine. Where's... Where are they? 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 I thought you had friends. Okay, just grab, grab this. Maybe it's when you grab this. Okay, or not. Maybe I'm just imagining ghouls that don't exist. I thought ghouls popped out of there. But it would appear they don't. Just check for any last minute spawns. I think we should be golden. How many is that, by the way? 99. So I took like one rad or something during that entire period. That's fine. That's not a problem. So this should be what we need. So place the unidentified sample with 1 1. The other unidentified sample with 1 1. And the isotope sample. And now we just run that and that should just work. Because it's just the ones ending in 1-1. One, one. That's all you need to do. And the wibbler starts wibbling in a moment. The thing goes wibbly wibbly woo. And there we go. Some special legendary magic armor. Which I probably shouldn't use. Because it's kind of legendary. I mean it's got a star next to it. Yeah very rare. There's almost like no legendary power armor pieces in the entire game. This is one of them. And it's kind of interesting. Rads increase AP refresh, which is, uh, I mean, good in the glowing sea, I guess. But otherwise, it's kind of garbage. Okay, and now I should be able to use the terminal to force this door open. Because the lockdown should be... Uh, the lockdown's now fine. I'm just a little suspicious of... Is that door hanging? Is that door open? Is that door open? Yep, yeah, go, 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 go. And I'm just... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, Molly's angry, Molly's angry, Molly's angry, Molly's very angry because I, I broke the lockdown. Uh, Molly's, Molly's furious, actually. Okay, Molly was about to be lovely and be like, you know what, I'm going to let you into the director's office right now. But now she's not going to because I've killed her. Um, okay, so now, now all the terminals and everything are, are angry. Not terminals, John, turrets. That's a different word that begins with T. Uh, so this is good. Now I just need to fight my way out past turrets which as we've established can be terrifying but yeah she drops the key okay so basically all of that was for nothing because i could have just killed her the moment i walked in and taken the key then again the turrets would have been angry and i wouldn't have got the no i would have got the magazine okay well i got some you know adrenaline let's let's just say i got adrenaline and i haven't been wounded like yet but there's still at least two turrets uh in the front room so let's not, you know, count our, count our chickens just, just yet. Check. I wasn't actually expecting to be fighting uh, turrets, so I 
didn't double check their locations. So this is this is all fine. Uh, there's one about up there. Yep, take you out. Okay, number one goes down. Fine. There's another one. The other side. Directly above me. Just check for any more. Check for any more. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, there we go. Take you out. Back off. We good? I think we're good. Okay, now there's just ONS as any of the director's office, which there might be. Okay, that's that's fine. I was planning to do this peaceful life, but then I just pushed a stupid button on somebody's terminal and it kind of broke the alert because he was a bad person or something. Okay, just be be ready. Just Actually, I'm going up against, I think, a glowing one. Terminal. That's the director, who looks pretty basic, to be honest. And again, just a very dramatic noise. I don't... I don't see any of that. Okay, I think we're fine. So there's the director. That's fine. He just has um, a thing on him. And here's what I actually bloody wanted. So... Another surgical journal. Good, 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 good. So one rad, and I picked up some adrenaline. So you know what? That's it's all for the good. It's all for the good in the end. Let's get the flip out of here before anything else goes wrong, because nothing has gone right so far today. Still, adrenaline level three. I shan't say no to 15% bonus damage. That's nice. Okay, back home, dump the junk, had a quick drink, had a quick snack, but we're moving straight on. Because, yeah, we're now heading down south again. And uh, there's one thing in particular. Actually, there's a few things I forgot to pick up last time. Which I will grab on the way past. But uh, there's one thing in particular I do want to help myself to. And how about, yes indeed, completely useless people. You go and hang out at, hang on. Yes, the marina. I'd like you to go hang out at the marina. I'll catch you there later, because we could do with uh, somebody over there. Because yes, indeed, while I'm heading in that direction, I'm going to increase the coverage of the artillery network. And of course, quick trip to Diamond City, just to trade in aid and drugs for as much ammo as I can get. And from here, I now want to go, yes, straight back over to uh, the coast of the river. Couple of nice locations around over here now. The safer it have gone before us back, out to Oberland, uh, right there. But that's that's a long way round. Okay, I'm going to try and open a safe route between Diamond City and the edge of the river over here. I'll probably avoid, yeah, Mass Pike Tunnel West. There's raiders around there. But, yeah, I kind of just want to open a new route up so I don't need to go the ridiculously long way round. Uh, if I want to get from Diamond City area, round to, uh, yeah, south. Okay, there's already a route the other way going down towards Jamaica Plain. There used to be a handful of raiders over there, but I think they're all long dead. So just... Eyes open. Alright, this is a route, or at least a tiny bit of open ground uh, we haven't really covered before. So just watch... The brackets and watch over there. There can be a random event over there, but it looks peaceful right now. Maybe follow the train line. The train line looks like it's going in about the right direction, and that should give me a pretty clear line of sight. Then again, sometimes stuff is, uh, you know, in the train cars that are on the train line, but what can you do, eh? Okay. Looks peaceful so far. I'm not seeing any sign of trouble. If this is nice and safe, then I've been going a long way around for uh for quite a while. So that there, that'd be a little on the embarrassing side. I don't hear anything wrong. There are some mysterious bones right about here, which is, you know. Concerning question mark that's rat barrels give him a fair fair wide berth. I have no notes related to this entire area. So I think we're okay. 
This seems uh, pretty calm, pretty quiet. And I think I know that bridge. Okay, that bridge should be... Okay, maybe be a bit careful when you pass it by, you know, the area something could be... Just a bit of debris. That's fine. Not a problem. Check forwards. Is that the bridge where we cleared out a whole bunch of raiders? I think it... Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, I think we've now linked into where we were. Okay, that path's super safe in that case. So don't worry about uh, any of that nonsense. Yes, the Westing Estate. I passed this by previously and said, Oh, yes, look, a handful of Milox. I shan't go into there, for I am too clever to face Milox. Forgot there was a magazine in there. Not the best one. I think it's one of the... Uh, it's Unstoppables. I can't recall. There's a magazine in there anyway. And to be honest, I'm running a bit low on the old... Thought I heard something, but we're fine. I'm running a bit low on the old food. So, a bit of, uh, yeah, Milox food would not say no. Alright, roasted Milox, that's good eating. So, then again, there is a fair whack of water around here, which I don't really want to be playing with. I'm kind of considering cowarding out again. I don't like Milox. They're scary. Milox can be very scary, and that's a lot of water. You're a soft shell, which is really not, not a problem. Okay, so right now you're facing me, aren't you? Yes, you... Okay, good time to turn away, you sneaky bastard. Come on, come on, back over here. Just, just turn and face me. Over here. Literally any direction that's in this direction. Anytime you're ready. Now he's, now he's hiding. Bloody hell, great, thanks. Thanks, mate, really appreciate it. And also now he's... Now he's disappeared. He was just... I was just looping around to find him. And Seriously, were you... Okay, he's actually hiding from me. He's doing a very good job hiding right now. Which is a little bit, little bit on the annoying side. Uh, because I just... I just want him to die on account of bullets. Alright, is that so much to bloody... He's going to do it again, isn't he? He just, he just keeps hiding from me. What a dick. Okay, I'm just going to go up to the high ground. I'm pretty sure there's uh, the stairs in this, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to be in the water too long. Because water is a disease risk pool, which is bad. But, yeah, that's still babies as would wake up. He's genuine. He just keeps... He keeps moving to a location. I'm... I hate this guy. I hate him so much. Okay, just... Don't worry about that. Jump over to here. Get down. I'm pretty sure I'm not currently in... Oh, uh, there's not... I was about to say, there's not bloody, uh, what's the McJibbles? The barnacles here are there. I really hope not. And, uh, how about me and you, buddy? Me and you just be friends. And, seriously, would you mind just shooting the mile like? There we go. I do have maxed out crits at the minute. There's... There's not a queen here, right? I mean, I'm, I'm just a bit suspicious at the lack of... The lack of anything. What was that? What was that? What was that? I'm just going to go hide. What was that? What was it? It wasn't... Okay. It's fine. It's just, just a Mylurk. It's just a basic soft shell Mylurk who wasn't happy that I just killed his friend. Who is also a Mylurk and... Okay, can you even get to me? I don't think you can, so I'm just going to shoot you and I've leveled up too. Okay, it's just a mile like okay, but that's that's a wild mongrel. Which magazine am I even going for right now? I don't even know what magazine I'm going for. This is this is fine. And also where is it? It's oh bloody hell. This is this is why I don't just improvise plans on the fly. Okay, I just I just shouldn't. You see what I am is about ninety-eight percent sure this is not a queen spawn point. But that there, that's that's not enough. That's not enough of a chance for me. There it is. Okay, unstoppables. Thought so. There's a signed baseball card. I'm gonna go. I don't like this place. It's a bit too quiet, actually. I can give uh, the signed baseball card uh, to Mo later. He'll pay good money for that. That's also okay. Did he want the? glove and the... 
If he doesn't, then that's a source of leather and cork, which is not the worst thing in the world. So, 1% chance of taking a damage. Now, I think we might have seen that trigger because, yes, last week, it really sounded like that rad roach took a snip at me, but I took no damage. And I'm not sure if that might be Unstoppables because I'm not sure if, like, Unstoppables generates a sound effect when it triggers or not. Like, um... I think Ricochet does. I don't know if Unstoppables does. So there was definitely the sound of, you know, a snip happening last week, but I took no damage. Either a rad roach just sort of missed, or that was Unstoppables. And I think it might have been. Also, I just realized I forgot to actually um, pick up the meat. But then again, to be honest, I feel like the meat wasn't worth the risk of going into the water. It's fine. I've got, like, enough meat to keep me going for, for some time. So... They'll be easier eating down the line. Now, okay, this next one. This next one's just downright embarrassing. Okay, so this is actually one of the more important magazines in the entire game. And I just walked straight past it. Because, okay, let me, uh, let me give you the intro to how my brain went last time. Which is, uh, I took one look at this door and said, Oh my goodness, an expert lock terminal. I shall open up this door. I am so clever. But oh no, that door is expert locked in terms of lock picking. So I cannot get inside. But no, there's there's a completely unlocked terminal right here that lets you open that door. So yep, yeah, just uh, tap a few keys and all of a sudden uh, you've got yourself this magazine. Which is very important because that's 5% damage with all scoped weapons. Under all circumstances. Now, I don't know whether that actually means just scopes like scope scopes. Or if like, you know, uh, reflex scopes or reflex sights count. I assume not. I assume it does actually mean like, you know... This sort of scope only. But as you know, those weapons are going to be some of the most powerful in the game. That is not nothing. And also, uh, for some reason, this place has actually regenerated its loot, which I was not expecting. But I will not say no, because that's a lot of 308 ammo. Also, do not forget to level up, because actually, I've got a bit of a feeling this might be a bit of an important one, actually. Oh, level 40. Am I remembering correctly? I am. Oh, my. Lone Wanderer 3. Without a companion, 25% more damage with everything all the time. It is, quite frankly, dumb levels of generous right there. So yeah, now we're getting into level 40s. 30 is a good time to get caught up. Not a huge amount shows up in the late 30s. But uh, when you get into, yes, level 40, all of a sudden lots of perks start hitting uh, their final rank. So, okay. Yes, we're going to be taking that, obviously. Still a few levels off. Yeah, Rifleman uh, being maxed out. That's uh, 46. What is... Uh, oh, but better criticals. Is, oh, my goodness. Okay, well, now you're... Now you're just being mean, game. That's mean. Criticals. Doing an extra... What is that? Yes, an extra 50 percentage points of damage. Uh, versus just 25%. Oh, that's... that's not even remotely fair. No, that's not fair. Um, but I'll take Lone Wanderer 3. Because, uh, yeah, just the fact it applies to literally everything is so good. And as of, I think, either Far Harbor or Nuka World. This didn't used to have a fourth rank, but uh, it picked one up at some point with the DLC. Yeah, 25 more AP, which is not nothing. So at level 50, we'll be taking that too. But Lone Wanderer 3, oh, that's nice. So right now, we're only at Adrenaline 4. And regardless, penetrating is at 172, staggering at 153. That is good. That is really damn good. Oh, um, okay, I've just run into potentially a problem, actually. I didn't realise we were... Did he just shoot me? He just took a shot. There's just There was just a random... There was just a random... Did he shoot me? Okay. Um. Didn't suspect there was just going to be a random synth here of... Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. He, he had friends, he had friends, he had friends, he had friends, he had friends. Uh, how many more friends did he have? Because, okay, apparently there's there's just a... There's just some robots. There's just... There's just robots here. Okay. Um... Really thought this was a quiet bit of the world. Actually, oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. That was definitely another one. Definitely another one. Bye. Okay, just take him out. Are we good? Okay, well, that's... 
That was some crits burnt. Okay, that's what the crits are for. That's what the crits are for. We're fine. Everything's under under control. They didn't shoot me, right? No, I've still lost 114 hit points. So that was <laughs> uh, pure luck. But also, that was... I hate you. I hate you, Fallout 4. You're just the worst. This is the worst game. Yeah, that just happened basically right next to one of my own bloody settlements, which is uh, rude. And if we are lucky, the two guys I sent over here should have arrived by now, right? And don't go that way. That involves swimming. You don't want to swim. Uh, so, yes, hopefully someone has, has made it here, right? Guys, I really hope they've made it. Because if they haven't, that's going to be annoying. Because then I could wait for them to arrive. Uh, but if I have to wait for them, oh bloody hell. Okay, that is irritating. Because uh, I did very specifically go out of my way to bring the materials uh, for a great big boom cannon. Alright, I brought this all special light. Look at this, I brought all of that. In fact, I might have... Yeah, there's more mutants over there, that's fine. Just... Lay down a nice artillery piece. Kind of point at those mutants over there just so they get the uh, the points. I mean, it says there's two people here. Okay, I'm going to set up one of the bells uh, just to see if I can, like, summon them. I'm not sure if they're hiding somewhere. Right, build bell. Ring bell. And... Anybody... Anybody planning to show up? They might still be walking out in the wastes to make their way here. They might not be here yet, so if I sleep to wait, that's going to burn my adrenaline. I can sit to wait, but if I do, that's going to potentially cause problems in terms of uh, food. Okay, I'll give them... I'll give them a brief window. Not this is actually, I wouldn't mind it being a bit later in the day. Let's just wait two hours. Waiting shouldn't cause, yes, a check of uh, disease. Guys, are you... Are you here now? Because... Well, this is not... This is not bloody convenient at all. Because until this gun is manned, it's just a cocking paperweight. Okay, I'm going to give them another two odd hours uh, to arrive. Because, seriously, I would like this thing up and operational. I was kind of banking uh, on the fact this thing would... Uh, be up an operation. I'm now hungry and thirsty. They should be here by now. This isn't even that far. This is not bloody far. If I just brought the materials uh, to build a beacon and I'd built that, someone would have already just arrived. The game would have invented somebody immediately. So I'm feeling very short-changed uh, that these idiots aren't here yet. Well, unfortunately, I can't just wait forever for these idiots. So, okay. I do have a bit of a backup strategy, so uh, this was not essential. It would have been really nice, but it was not essential. All right, because uh, now I've got Lone Wanderer 3. Now I've got a whole bunch of skill magazines. Uh, I have got something in particular in mind. Oh, there she is. Those beautiful big old dishes. Uh, that's Gunner Plaza, headquarters uh, of the Gunners. Now, what I'm about to do is a bad idea. It's a very bad idea, in fact. But the thing you've got to bear in mind is inside that building is not just a copy of guns and bullets. So 5% to your critical damage with ballistics. But on top of that, that's where the small gun's bobblehead is. Okay, so if you get that sourced out, there's a reefer, which is not what I was expecting, but okay. And they... Are they fighting something? I can vaguely hear something there. Yes, if I can get that. That's 30% bonus damage to my flipping ballistic crits. That's huge. That's a ridiculous amount of damage. I am willing to accept a certain amount of risk to make that happen. What I'm not willing to accept, though, is... Somewhere up top on the roof of this building is a man with a fat man launcher. So that there is arguably more than a bit dangerous. That there, that's not fun. By the way, I just saw you. That's a blood bug. That's a feral. Okay, how about we just wake up a handful of you right now? Because where was that reaver? There's the reaver. 
Okay, you're dead as well. Marvellous. And there's a Roma. Can I even see? I can see a lag. I shan't say no to free XP. Never say no to free XP. Are we good? Yeah. Priority number one is... I'm not imagining it. That's gunfire. But it sounds like it's coming from over there, not over here. Internally, this building isn't so big, but there's a lot externally. Now, if I could just get eyes on the guy with the fat man launcher, critical face, he's dead. Though, I want to find out what that noise is first. Okay, just, I don't want to go into an environment like this without knowing what's going on. What's that down over there? I don't know. It's over there somewhere. Can't see a thing. I think it's nothing to do with this though and it's too far away to really get involved, hopefully. Or not. I think I just saw a flash over... Yeah, that's a muzzle flash. Okay, I'd like to know what this is before I... Oh, it's bloody... It's art again! Okay, so it's just art shooting himself down over there. And I swear we've seen him before, but... Okay, fine. Whatever. Like, that event has triggered uh, at least twice. In fact, I think I might have seen it in the distance, like, a third time at some point, but whatever. Now, yes. Okay. The building. That's the building up there. Now, I'm not sure if Fat Man Man might be asleep. Because it's night. And I'm also not sure if I want to do this at all, to be perfectly honest. But I'd like to at least scout out the front door. That there is. Yeah, I see you. Basic gunner. Machine turret. Yeah, Mark III. I've seen many worse things than that. The thing is, yeah, I wanted tons of artillery coverage. There is coverage here from Jamaica Plain. I would not have minded double coverage. That would have been nice. There's a gunner. Oh, well, there's a man with a uh, missile launcher. He's going down. You're just going down right now, buddy. So, down you go. And caution. Just maybe back off a little bit into cover. Because if that caution involves a Fat Man Man, Fat Man Man blind firing could be a problem. Like a big problem. But, well, unless that was... There's Gunna Corporal. There he is! I don't have the crit anymore because I just wasted it on... Oh. Yeah. Okay, he's dead. Good, 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 good. <laughs> okay, Missile Man is dead. Fat Man Man is is dead. That, that makes this whole situation much, much better. Okay. That means at this point, what's left is probably at the front door. Uh, I'd like to drop artillery on them in that case. If I can just get close enough without being spotted. I see a basic gun out over there. Okay. Are you on your own? Well, there's a turret. No, you're not on your own. Several of them. Too close together. But to get close enough to toss the thing... I can't see anything else. They're kind of in cover, which is not ideal. Okay, just... Be ready. I'd like to nuke them anyway. It's going to get their attention. You're over there. Okay. I see you. Can I get that over to there? Yeah, I'm just going to put that over there and then move back off. I think we're okay. Okay. I'm gonna. Oh, no, that was, that was a ghoul. That was a ghoul. That was a ghoul. There's just a ghoul here. Uh, no, that's Art. And now he's... That's Angry Art. Okay, well, Angry Art needs to go down. I'm sorry, Art. But if you're red, I'm not having it. I'm not flipping having you causing trouble for me. Okay, now hopefully we should be fine. Right? We should be in range of Jamaica. Just... Okay, check. No, nope, in it comes. We're definitely on. And? Where's the... Where's the boom? Where's the... Excuse me. Where's where's the boom? What? Um. 
Guys? Where's... Ceasing fire. Hope that helped. Anything left is all yours. I'm not convinced you guys actually did anything, actually. Great. Love it. Thanks, guys. Really useful. Uh, so, okay. What's left? I see one turret. I see one gunner. You wander over to that side. Then I think you're pretty isolated. You stop there for a second. Okay. That point, you're pretty isolated. No one else sees it. There's another guy at the front. There's a turret there. Obviously, he will be aware of that. Is that a second turret? Yeah, there's two turrets right at the front door. What I want, however, is you, buddy. I think we confirmed you're wearing good armour. I want him down. Okay, and down. Right, that's two at the front door. Dead. Turrets are not firing. Turrets? Do turrets even blind fire? You know what? I don't know if they do. You're exploded. Oh, they do. Turns out they, turns out they do. Turns out they do. And are. And I'm running towards the roof. I mean, I know Fat Man Man's dead, but still, that was, that was not a sensible move there, John. Okay. I'm not seeing anything. Back to hidden. Okay, we can pick off the other turret, and then we should be good for the uh, the front door. Yeah, there's you. So just pop you. Caution, someone else is vaguely alert and not happy with me. There's also a blood bug over there somewhere, so don't go too far in that direction. How's my... I still don't have a single crit. This is now sufficiently long range. That's, that's a concern. My problem is, I now don't know... Who's... Who's alert to me? Okay, no one's currently alert, but... Okay. Somebody went into caution briefly. Okay. That's... That's the blood bug. I know about you. Just be ready. We're moving in. Oh, I see you, buddy. Legendary problem. Okay, I think he patrols from one side to the other. If he patrols back this way and then holds steady, I can just headshot him. That should be a nice, simple kill. I'm just going to wait for him to come back this way. Oh, he's, he's around. He's around somewhere. He's around. Oh, he's he's picked the exact right point to bloody stop. Okay. Wait, he can't see me. It's fine. Everything's under control. He also can't see any of his friends, which is nice. Okay, this is this is fine. Uh, you don't have a head anymore. This is a door, right? Yep, that's a door in. That is a way in right there. Wait for him to come back. I think he's going to be stopping right there next to that chair. He doesn't seem to care much about his dead friends. Yeah, wait for him to turn. Wait for him to turn. And... Dead. No other caution, suggesting no one had eyes on him. Okay, just keep... We good? I think we're good. Acrobat's metal left. Reduces fall damage. Just occasionally, that might be amazing, actually. Like, most of the time, no, obviously. But I'm going to take it, just because I might think of a really good use for that down the line. If you can get a pair of them, then even outside of power armor, you can just drop any distance you want, which can be great. So, okay. Exterior cleared. I'm going in. I'm going in for the flipping magazine, though. Well, the bobblehead in particular. I do not have a single crit and I don't like it. Actually, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? How about we say that's enough for today and we end on a lovely, lovely cliffhanger because I'd say we've been recording for quite a bit of time. So, okay, that's enough for now. Next time, we'll be kicking off by breaking into Gunners Plaza. All right, if it goes well, I'm going to be 30% more powerful on all of my crits. But there's, uh, there's a cost.
potentially. Potentially a very big cost, because uh, that place, that place ain't fun. So join me next week for that, and uh, our second trip into the glowing sea. So, okay, lots of, uh, lots of lip and danger coming up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout 4, you only live once. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.